No mä sitten vaan... Mä siis koirin aloittaa. That's pretty good for me. When did you first play Tekka? Uh, my, my really first time. Yeah, you can answer it both ways because that's really just a stock question. I think I was quite young. No, I, I at least I remember one time when I was maybe five or six years old. You know, in 1965. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to tell. Because you don't have cousin, to admit. My cousin. I had a cousin who was one year year uh, younger. Yeah. And she, in a way, threw a kick to my back when I was. Really? Yeah. I, I think. Maybe I was six or seven years old, and she was young. Funny. Yeah. That's the, maybe the first thing I would. I the first memory that you can yeah, associate with Tika. Actually, I remember it now. I haven't yeah. remembered it. Haven't even thought of yeah, it. Yeah. Well, you're you're going through <laughs> this is an emotional uh, experience now. Yeah. By the end of this, you'll be crying. <laughs> Tika therapy. Yeah. When was the first time you played Tika? Literally ten minutes ago. What was it like? It was, um, it was like darts. What effect did it have on your life? An amazing effect. I just don't know what it is yet. Do you remember the first time that you played ticker? Probably no. But I was a kid. I think it... No, I remember... It's just like my grandparents' place, just half a mile across the woods there. And I think there's still probably not the same Tika board anymore, but mm. there on the... Auntie, for the sake of documentary, this is the first time you've uh, thrown Tika since... No, no, this, I have been throwing Tika since I was a small child, but... Yeah, I and the last this, time... Before last, now. last summer, maybe one, two times. Okay. So that's why I'm, I'm a bit um, well need of need in training. But the, the good advice is that I will change my technique and we'll see how it goes. I next think round. so. When did you first play Tika? Well, I I must have played it when I was a child. Yeah. But I don't really remember. I I must have been really small yeah. in my grandparent grandfather's place. Yeah. Like under ten years, or before going to school, I think. Yeah. And then the next time was, <laughs> couple, I think last summer. How did you begin to um, play ticker with the fellows? Who do you know? I haven't. I started on Friday with did the, you? the yeah with the zero point nine average. You're a newcomer. Yeah. Your zero point nine is probably yeah. better than mine. No. First time that you played ticker. This evening. How? Uh, what time was it? Uh, about seven o'clock. About seven o'clock in the evening. And was so first of uh, August. First of August. Very Two good. Two thousand and nine. Two thousand and nine. <laughs> and what did playing ticker mean to you? When was the first time that you played ticker? In, in the whole life. Of. <laughs> yeah. Either, both, whichever story is more relevant. I was so small that I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. So did you play it with your family? Conversation. But when did you first play ticket? Oh, it was last year in Poland, in U.S. place. Yeah. yeah. That was around probably May or June, I'm not sure when now. And how... Felix Dicker, I must have been six years old. Yeah. And uh, uh, the last time before the recent, I mean these recent years, yeah. was when I was 13 years old. So 
uh, through almost seven years when I was a very little child. Yeah. And during these years I prepared myself quite well, very well, yeah. for in Finnish. What are the lessons that you have learned from Ticket that you can bring to your own life? Wow, deep. That's really deep. Yeah. <laughs> Thicker lessons. Well, I guess the thing about Thicker is precision, you know, precision and concentration. Yeah. And I guess that's probably useful in everyday life. And also the fact that one thing I've noticed is I played many games and my results are never the same with any one game. So the fact that you've had a very bad game before doesn't mean the next game is going to be bad. It could be much better. You know? So that's that's an important thing to learn. Because when you do most things, especially if you're it's either untrained or trained, it's possible that you probably have a progressive take on it. But with this one, well, it could be it could be really it could really suck in one one minute, and the next time <laughs> you could just it's a bullseye. So <laughs> this is so true. This is like. Uh... Golf. I've heard people describe golf. What, what are the... Um, when a person plays Tikka, they learn some things. Yes, this... Yes, it's funny because... In, at, at the comp, uh, tournaments, when you, when you throw in Tikka... Yeah. You, when you're concentrating, it's, it's very, in a way, demanding because the Tikka is quite... It's 20 grams or more. And the distance is five meters. Yeah. And I, th I think it's quite demanding. You have to, in a way, concentrate very, very good. And then yeah. when you're concentrating, you have to, in a way, use all the, all your past things. Yeah. And that's the, when you, in a way, it's, it's a little bit like Iron Fleming said that you, you only live twice when you are <laughs> falling a lot and the, uh, dying. But it's the same kind of thing that you, have, in a way, that there's nothing else that is this aiming this 10 and then you have have to in a way use all the things you have yeah. wow what you have had and all the lessons in your life yes yes they must be brought to bear yeah, but it's, yeah. at this one instant yeah 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 and you think of what you want when playing ticker you have to do it five times or five, five times five <laughs> um, our uh, an official <laughs> Tikka club here. Uh, it's very, um, it's it's like it's naive play. It's what play? Naive, play, naive. Yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not not joke because yeah. you you can you learn for new newcomers. It's a very harmless way to learn that. I can lose, I can lose, I can lose, but yeah. I have so fun. Yeah. Uh, so fun. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think uh, there's a whole religion to be written around Tikka, and I think we half did it, and, and I think some of, the, some of the ideas were written down somewhere, but not all, obviously. Mm. And they might exist somewhere in the internet. Yeah. Even that. Uh, because there's a lot more going on than the, just the numbers and competitions. Mm. And we're talking about the meditational quality and all that. And it is. I don't know. It's, because when do you actually go throw the darts? Go to a ticker board? Is as I was saying earlier, like when there's no hurry, when there's no need to go anywhere, mm. when time is just 
when time loses its meaning in a way in the in the summertime in Finland, you know? Yeah. When you're on holiday if you have a job to be on a holiday from <laughs> or if you don't then just whenever you because when you're throwing tikka you can't be in a hurry, you you can't be anxious in a way. You have to be kind of fairly calm and yeah, relaxed. The summer, the summer goes. Mikä tuo oli kuin Freudilainen erehdys, niinkö? Hei! Who is the who do you think is the most committed ticker player? From group of people. <laughs> oh I think it must be you are it's just mad. Without a doubt. <laughs> yeah. And the the No, I think Yoko is crazy as well, so I think Yeah. I think the Yuha probably takes it mo the most seriously. Yeah. And I don't well the serious is yeah, it's most committed. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Who was the most committed ticker player from our the group? Well, this this year it must be Juha Juha Alakulpi, yeah. who who also uh, made victory. Yeah. In this year's this, big this, competition. Yes, yes, this major competition. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, but it, yeah, yeah. In the longer run, uh, Antti Matt has been there because uh, he created these uh, home pages and uh, and these um, uh, modernized these uh, these um, uh, rules and uh, and. Uh, Yes, Antti Matt and Juha Alakulp, they, they, they uh, complete uh, each other's. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the most committed member of the ticket group? I think uh, Juha and Antti, the two probably. Probably Juha has been yeah. like, the most active. So you would say that between uh, Serpa and Antti, Anti is more committed than Serbia. Mm, I couldn't tell. Because <laughs> once they start throwing, they both are really enthusiastic. <laughs> but Anti has done a lot of work, maybe, to, for the Facebook site. And, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what are the lessons? But, but you guys would be like, like yesterday when they were on the, on the corridor mm -hmm. waiting for the elevator, and I was like saying goodbye, blah, blah. And he said, well, remember, on Thursday we'll meet, meet at uh, yeah. Frozen Dice. And I was like, yeah, I'll be there, because I, it's kind of a, like zen for me. It's like, it's not the, the, what we get, but it's the idea of throwing yeah. matters. And um, I think the most, most important thing is that I take part so yeah. in some activity, not mm. the results. But for you, the results are the most important thing. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And he was like, well, you have to... You have to do more of this, and you have to like keep your leg on the ground, and then you have to be. You have to use your body. I don't know how to use my body. He is. He's concerned. He he's is. concerned with this. He, he said to me, really like, "If I had some problems, like with my health, and he was a doctor, it's yeah. like he's trying to help me." This is exactly yeah. it. It seems Tika so seems cute. for him to be uh, a mission to spread. Uh, you wouldn't call, I don't know whether you'd call it peace or something like yeah, that. Yeah, in a way, perhaps, but, yes. Um, he, he was concerned with my lack of ability. Yeah. And uh, he was saying, you know, this is, this is easily rectified. Yeah. Uh, you're using your arm too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
and you could employ your body a little bit more easily rectified. Yeah, yeah. Which Just like, and then you, but you yeah. I, I do like this. Yeah. And that's what that's the right thing to do because that's why they end yeah. up on the ground.